Okay, so we did a van road trip in our CJL leisure van down to Cornwall as part of our off-season holiday and we're going to tell you all about it. So on the way down on our road trip, we had a couple of stop-offs at different service stations on the way there just to have a bit of a coffee and a little bit of a break on the way down as it is a fairly long drive. And then our final stop-off before we headed to St Ives was at another one of our favourite places as a family, which is a place called Perranporth, where there is the most amazing beach. Like It is literally miles long. In the summer, Reese and I actually swam along the whole length of the beach, which was a really amazing experience. This time, obviously, the water wasn't quite warm enough for that, but we did have the sun shining, which was a nice surprise for us. So we did a nice walk with the dogs. The sea actually had like this crazy foam on it that was really, really fun. The dogs to really enjoy it. And then we went over the cliffs a bit, recreated a photo that had been taken during the summer. So we now have a winter version of the same photo, which is really nice. And then we headed into, there's like a beach bar there called the Watering Hole, had some coffee and cake. And then after that, we did the final part of our journey. It's only about another half an hour down to St Ives parked up there, had some lunch. You've got to have a pasty if you go down to Cornwall, so most of us had a pasty. And then once we'd done that, we was able to start unloading the van and get into the lovely property we were staying in. So we were really fortunate to stay in a property called Rockfish in St Ives, which was the most stunning property. It was just really modern inside, had been done really, really lovely. Space for all the family to stay there and they gave us a pretty good deal to stay there. But obviously, even in a non-biased way, I would 100% recommend checking them out if you ever fancy a trip down to Cornwall because it was a lovely property right on the beachfront. So we could literally walk out the door, run in the sea and come back. Um, and it was lovely and cosy inside as well. So perfect for a winter break, but it would also be lovely in the summer as well. Our planet's in the crisis, cause our whole way of life is based on the burning of the priceless fuels that we use for our tools and devices. What we've got to recognize is that this way is not the wise. So we all went and did the Penrose Park Run, which was recommended by my mum, who absolutely loves Park Run. She had done it before. She promised us that it was a fast and flat park run. However, it wasn't dead flat. And unfortunately, because it was winter, there was quite a lot of wet leaves on the pavement. So it wasn't the fastest day. However, we did some okay times and we also got to meet one of the local tri-clubs down there who were quite big fans of ours. So it was really nice just 
to meet them in a really friendly setting. And then once again, back to the lies and telling tall tales so the truth they disguise it. But if you open up your eyes and look just beyond your horizons, then you'll start realizing if the effects of the changes of the climate. Watch a YouTube video, you can film us if you want. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> There was a guy there who was the winner of the park run who ran with his dogs and I think he regularly runs with his dogs and has produced some super impressive times. So one day I'd love to go back and maybe have a go with one of his dogs, which he did offer me to do, but I wasn't quite brave enough to do yet. But I would love to see just how quick I could go on that course with one of his super dogs. Like they are just so fast and they absolutely love it. So again, we love Park Run. We do it all around the country, but that was Penrose and would definitely recommend. It was a pretty fast course in the summer. I think it would be a lot faster. So if you fancy a PB, I reckon it's one to go and give a go. We were quicker at Eden. Yeah, 17, 15. I was yeah. fitter then though. Less heavy. Yes, yeah, so we did an amazing run, which I actually think was recommended to us from Cy from CJL Leisure Vans back in the summer of 2020 when we went down for a little break in Cornwall then. And he had recommended running along the coast from St. Ives to Carbis Bay. And then you can just keep going all the way along to the most beautiful beach called Gwivian. So we decided to kind of check that out and see how far along that coastline we could get. Long run, St. Ives. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Cam are wearing the camel back. Right. See you later. Have fun. Bye. On the opposite shore. Hello, Mona. I reach through mysterious ceilings. It is definitely a challenging run. It is either up or down and a lot of elevation. Up we go. But the views that you see are just absolutely amazing. We saw some seals on the route. I've never climbed so many like coastal stairs on a run. Run quite a bit on sand, through sand dunes, and it just was a really, really great run. So if you're up for a bit of adventure, a bit of a challenge, I would definitely recommend getting your trail shoes on and hitting that run, because it was a great one. What a place to run. How amazing is that? I stand alone. Show me where the end is. We're not going to get across that water. We should go the long way round. Or oh, swim! <laughs> And then we also did our favourite cycle route down in Cornwall, which we call the Land's End Loop, where we went from St Ives to Penzance, down to Land's End, and then back along the coast all the way to St Ives again. And that was pretty tough. We did it on mountain bikes, even though we were on the road. So it was a lot slower than the summer, but we were really, really fortunate with the weather because we didn't have any rain for the entire week. And it actually was surprisingly mild for December. So I think I might've put that on my Strava. I definitely did in the summer. So definitely check out that route if you fancy a different kind of ride while you're down in Cornwall. And the views are absolutely amazing. And you've got to go to Land's End. It's a quite a famous point. So yeah, definitely would recommend that one. Waddle waddle, such a nice smell out here. Oh, wow. Oh, I thought you farted. Oh, no. So, for the first time ever, I went winter sea swimming in December. There she comes. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> 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 Why are they all in? <laughs> and the first day we tried to get in, I honestly thought it would be impossible because it was so painful on my feet. <laughs> oh my god! That is crazy! 
brutal. Eventually, we all managed it in our wetsuits. was really cold when we first put our feet in I was like there's no way I'm gonna be able to get in there because it just was so painful but actually once we got going a little bit it did I wouldn't say it warmed up but it became tolerable but that was pretty fun I've never been in the sea in December in the UK I don't think I've done November but December feels that little bit co colder than November so Becky's in her swimsuit there she goes <laughs> Oh my god, it feels colder than yesterday. It feels actually right. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> Then a couple of days later, we managed to do it non-wetsuit and then we did it the following day again and somehow it just gets a little bit easier. So I kind of understand now how the locals down there just go non-wetsuit all year because I think your body does just get used to it. Are we all right? Are we okay? Are we normal? No. <laughs> Absolutely cold, right? Okay. Now we know what to do. We just put our towels down and we run. run. We just run. Like that man. Like that man earlier, okay? And you just fully commit. Oh, the sand is so cold. Oh. Right, is this the spot? Is this the spot? Are we ready? Are we going? Are we all going together? No, you are. It's on the YouTube. Come on, come on. it 100% was not swimming in the sea. There was a lot of flapping around. The rush that you get and actually how much better you feel for going in the cold water is unbelievable. And I think they do say that people who live by the sea and who go in the sea day in, day out, actually do live a bit longer. And I can kind of understand why. So again, if you're brave enough, I would definitely recommend trying to go without a wetsuit in the sea, even if it's just for a minute. Um, the kind of feel you get afterwards and the rush is absolutely amazing. So definitely there's a hard balance when you're in off season. So you are still ticking over with training. However, when we're down on holiday, I don't really see it as training. I definitely see it more as adventure. So we did a really long run on one of the days down there. And I definitely, it was more like a bit of sightseeing, a sense of adventure, seeing where we could get to, just how far could we run. So yeah, it was less of a training and more of an adventure, but obviously we did do a couple of 
actual sessions where we went up to the swimming pool and did an actual swim. Definitely when we went in the sea, that was 100% not a session because there wasn't much swimming going on, just more flapping around in the cold water. Whilst we are exercising, I would definitely say it's just more of a bit of fun and none of us can really sit still. Our friends and family, we're not very good at sitting still and if we're not out running, we're probably walking the dog or out for another walk to the shop. We just aren't very good at staying sat still. So yeah, less of a structured training, more of just a bit of fun and exercising because we enjoy it. Cause I can't escape when you call my name, when you call my name. Swimming. Swimming. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's so horrible. Yeah, it's like a little mini beetle I mean, alien I stingray. of the trip was definitely getting to visit the Jubilee Lido in Penzance where they actually have their normal main pool which is just a little bit warmer than the sea and then they have a smaller pool which is a geothermal heated pool and um, we were really lucky to get to go there and Whilst the water was definitely warm, it was not quite as warm as I had anticipated. However, we are in the middle of December, so, so to actually even be swimming outside and feeling warm um, was really surreal. And again, it was a really, really stunning location on the seafront, and I would definitely recommend going there if you get the chance. And I reckon like in the summer, you can go up there and then have a little sunbathe on the beachfront. So also really close to Penzance where the Lido is, is St Michael's Mount, which is definitely one of my favorite places in the whole entire world. It just looks so surreal having this, I guess you would just call it like a castle. It's stacked up on the rocks out to sea. When the tide goes out, you can actually walk out on the causeway to it. When the tide's in, you can get a boat across to it. But we actually spent one of our last days just sat on the seawall watching the sunset. And it was a really nice sunset at St Michael's Mount. Just, it is such a lovely place. So if you do get a chance, I would definitely recommend going and visiting it. And you can actually go and look round and there's quite a bit of history there as well. So definitely would recommend that as part of a road trip if you get the chance. So I think Cornwall is definitely our go-to destination for our off-season type holidays just because we find it so easy to just switch off down there. It's such a chilled way of life. We've gone there as kids on holiday and I definitely think that Reese and I one day would love to retire down there. We love that it's very active down there. There's always different things to do to have a bit of an adventure and most of those are active. And like I said, it's just super chilled and the scenery is just really lovely. I remember this from being a kid in St Ives. So I remember it being really darker than this, but it was the best gingerbread man I, man I ever had. So, see if it's any good. 
Mm. It's more crunchy than I remember. Yeah, I think they were so. Mm. It's like, God, no one's ever bought four of them. <laughs> Let's go. See what you think. Oh, that's great. End. Eden Project. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's great. Get that. That is brilliant. We'll play that tonight. Okay, so as part of this video, we are teaming up with Roka, who have given us the most amazing giveaway where you can receive a wetsuit, swim skin, and other swim accessories. We are gonna have two winners for this, one female and one male. If you would like to win this, then all you have to do is tell us where your ultimate road trip would be and why. One day, Reese and I would love to do more road trips in our van, so any suggestions would be much appreciated and we will pick two winners from the answers in the comments below. So make sure to do that. And as always, we hope you love this video and make sure to like and subscribe for future videos coming very soon. Another day, another, another poo. poo. <laughs>